word of the day. A word of the day comes from the book of Ecclesiastes chapter 3, verse 11. And it says, he has made everything beautiful in its time. Also, he has put eternity in their hearts, except that no one can find out the works that God does from the beginning to end. I'm going to read it once more. He has made everything beautiful in his time. Also, he has put eternity in their hearts, except that no one can find out the works that God does from beginning to end. This is truly talking about God's timing. This is Ecclesiastes chapter 3. And it truly talks about there's a time to live and a time to die, a time to mourn and a time to be happy. You know, all the times, everything that God has made in his timing. And everything that we truly do go through in his life is in that is in that chapter. And so we know that God is the control of time. You know, God's timing is not our timing and his thoughts are not our thoughts and his ways are not his ways. But we know that the things that happen is because it was time. God foresaw it that it was time for everything to happen. We cannot control time, but God does. I know we pray and we ask God to for all the things and we pray for our families, our friends and for the things that healing and all of those things. And, you know, God's promises are true, but they all will happen in his timing. And so we, we have to wait and we have to be patient. And that's the thing about time. God timing forces us to be to be patient because only God knows what he will do from the beginning to the end. God has all our lives in the palm of his hand. We don't know what will happen from day to day. We don't even know what will happen from hour to hour and minute to minute, but God knows. But he has put these things in our hearts that we need to put our trust in him. And we just continue to, walk with him and have faith in him. We've seen God answer so many prayers and done so many miracles and they were all in his timing. The things that happened were supposed to happen in the time that they were supposed to happen. And that's how God works. Amen to that. In Colossians 4, Chapter 4, verse 5, it says, Walk in wisdom toward those who are outside, redeeming the time, trusting in the Lord. We can see all the things that's happening on the outside of this world. But we know God's going to make it all right in God's timing. But it's all in his timing. So when we are just to walk in his wisdom, Walk in faith, walk in love. Walk with the Lord. Every day, every minute of every second, we got to just trust in him. We are not to, to succumb to the things of the world, but to keep our faith and our trust and our eyes focused completely on the Lord and redeeming the time forever, for eternity. God is going to take us and drive us and show us exactly what we need to be doing. I know that during, when the time is right, he's going to show us and lead us to whatever he wants us to be and do. Everything happens according to his timing. So we can rejoice and we can be glad and we can be happy because the things we cannot see, God already sees. And the things that we don't know, God already knows. It's just a matter of time. In 2 Peter chapter 3, verses 8 and 9, it says, But my beloved, 
Do not forget this one thing, that with the Lord one day is as a thousand years, and a thousand years as one day. The Lord is not slack concerning his promise. As some count slackness, but is long suffering toward us, not willing that any should perish, but all should come to repentance. Amen to that. So sometimes we wonder how come our children and how come our friends, these are not coming to the Lord yet. How come, you know, is the Lord slacking and and um, with our prayer for them? But the Lord is patient and long-suffering. We also have to be patient and long-suffering. We've seen the work that God's done in our families and our friends. God wants everyone to come repentance that no one should perish and that includes our families and friends because we don't want to see them perish but you know we know that a lot of times when things are not happen it's truly because it's just not time yet so we have to wait you know a day can be a thousand years and a thousand years can be a day in the eye But we know that he is. So don't ever think that God is, is slacking or God is not seeing and God's not doing things because God can do things that we don't even see. And it's truly this life is about bringing people to him. As we see the things happening in this world, in the end, all of these things will bring them to Christ and that's what we pray for we pray that they open their eyes and see in their own in, in God's in God's timing he will reveal himself to them but we keep praying and we keep asking praise the Lord in Ephesians chapter 5, verse 16, it says, Redeeming the time because the days are evil. We see now the days and times are evil. We are in the days of Noah, when there's can evil continuously every day. We see the hearts of men. They want wars and, and violence. We see how the world is just becoming an evil place that they want to take God out of the picture. And they're working on it. Our country is working truly. It's already have taken God out of the picture. They're showing they want no part of God. These are the evil days. But I know that we're all praying for our country. We're praying for our brothers and our sisters. We're praying for our friends and our families. But we know in God's timing, God answers our prayers. The word said, not only us, but our households will be saved. But it's all in his timing. Amen. In Romans 13, 11, it says, and do this, knowing the time. And now it is high time to awake out of sleep. And now, for now our salvation is nearer than we first believed. Amen. We can see the times. The times have surely shifted. Things are just crazy and chaotic and out of control. This world is just truly out of control. When you really look at it and think about it, it's out of control. If we didn't ever need God before, we truly need him now. And God's going to show those that don't know him that this is the case. They're going to need a savior. 
they're going to need someone they can trust and have faith in because they can't trust man because man can never give it right. Man cannot govern himself and has his own ideas and own thoughts and, and none of them is of God. I truly believe that salvation is near than we first believe. We know something's truly going to happen in our country, in this world. We cannot see it, but it's truly just a matter of time. So let us all continue to just trust in the Lord. In Ecclesiastes chapter 3, verse 1, it says, To everything there is a season, a time for every purpose under heaven. Amen. For everything, there is a time and a season. So, Lord, we thank you. We thank you for this time. We thank you for revealing this to us. We thank you that this should help us to be patient and long-suffering, to just wait on you. That's what this time is all about. It's not about what's, what prayers you're going to answer and what are you going to do. It's just the fact of when you're going to do it. And we all have to wait for that. We all have to trust that you truly are in charge and control. And so put this in our, all our hearts to just help us. We will all be healed. We will all be blessed. We will all, you will take care of all the evil. The things in this world that we pray about, our workplaces, everything is going to happen in your timing. So help us continue to just have faith, continue to trust in you, continue to walk with you with wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. Today, just give us rest with you. Let us ponder these things, see love. Let us meditate. Well, we thank you for this wonderful Sabbath day today. Help us all to bless your Sabbath day today and to walk in your peace today in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. May the Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you all peace today in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. God bless you all. Have a wonderful, blessed Sabbath day. And Bless you, bless you, bless you in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen.